Welcome back to the channel, my friends. We will be upgrading the carb on this FH 680V Kawasaki engine. This is a 23 horse. Now we're going from an externally vented carburetor to an internally vented carburetor. Uh, and let's see how that runs. This carburetor does have some issues. I got some leaks and stuff like that. They were known for ethanol and the gasoline tearing up the, the fuel lines or the o-rings in the carburetor swelling up and that can cause some issues so let's get this carburetor off of here and see if we can put a new one on this real simple to do there's some 10 millimeter bolts four of them to be exact one two three four and of course you want to remove the intake tube from the air cleaner and we'll get this carburetor off there's only two linkages on here there's one here in the front that's the choke and you have a throttle linkage in the back and it's just metal clips on the ends if you just flip it back unhook it just like that and the linkage will come pop right out of there and we'll do the same thing with the throttle we'll get this intake pipe off the four bolts the fuel line up top and the two linkages on this side I was able to pull the carburetor right off so here is our new carburetor compared to our old carburetor that came off of the Kawasaki engine. Now one of the biggest difference is the fuel shutoff solenoid. The new one has a plug and your original carburetor that was on this there's just wires coming out of it. So that's something I'll have to deal with. You can get these pigtails. I'll put that in the description for you. Uh, but at this time I'm just going to have to make something work like this. I've ground this out to fit that. I'll have to figure out which wire is what on this and uh, that should work. Now another big uh, difference between the two is the new one is internally vented and the original one was externally vented. You have a vent here that a hose went. Uh, obviously this is the inlet for the fuel and our new one only has just the inlet for the fuel. There's no vent hose sticking out. Again, this is internally vented. Other than that, it should bolt right up. Our linkage linkages should connect exactly where they were on our original carburetor. So let's get this mounted up. It does come with the gaskets and everything. So we'll get this mounted up and see how she runs. So here's her new carburetor all installed. Everything's pretty much bolt on. Your linkages connect exactly where they were on the old carburetor. Everything fits perfectly. Only thing I really had to figure out was the solenoid. Uh, that was easy enough since I didn't have the, the connector for it. So basically if it's mounted this way, you're looking at it, the top is a negative, the bottom is a positive. And you, you can always connect a 12 volt to it and see how the, the solenoid functions and figure out what connector is what. Uh, so I was able to figure that out, easily connect that and I just cut the original connectors off of the uh, the original solenoid that was uh, on the old carburetor and I put those ends right back on this so everything connects where it was originally so I was able to run the more a few patches in the front and back so this carburetor is, is a go works great of course on this new one I did not cut that uh, throttle stop or change that stop on it I don't think it's necessary really. I was able to adjust the governor all the way up and I'm getting plenty of RPMs out of this. I don't think it needs any more. So we'll leave that alone. Maybe later we can do that. But one thing I did do, I was missing some heat shields. <clears throat> I did build a heat shield on this to protect the carb from the muffler since that's sitting right next to it. That'll protect that solenoid and that carb from the heat that's coming from the muffler. We'll see how this works. I just bolted it here to the muffler brackets and down at the bottom onto the frame as you can see right through there. Looks great. We'll see how well it works as the air flows. It should be coming out actually this way since the fan pulls it down and it should be flowing that way. So if that's helped you, give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe. I thank you for watching.